Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a demo on how to use data mining models within SQL Server integration services. So the, um, the purpose of using data mining models within SQL Server is basically to apply predictions to, um, to data. Um, we don't know what the outcome is. So first of all, I'll show you the um, data mining model that we're going to apply today. So let's go into, I'm going to view it via the um, Excel data mining add-in. So what you do is you just jump into data mining add-in, click browse, it'll show the, um, the models that are saved, go next, it'll run the model and then we can expand it out. And what we have here is a, um, is a decision tree. The goal of the decision tree is to predict um, what is the likely um, outcome of a journey. Um, so is it likely to result in an accident or not? And then it basically predicts, you know, it identifies what are the key um, profile, piece of profile information that determine what the outcome of the journey will be. So what it does here um, says, um, the most important thing uh, influencing whether a journey res will result in an accident or not is whether there's a heart breaking ev event, so rapid deceleration. The next most important thing is whether the journey is done in the dark. So what we have is in the total population we see that of the population of journeys that we have, 29% of them resulted in accidents, but if there's harsh break more than 29 harsh breaking events, 80% of them result in accidents and if um, you have lots of these harsh breaking events, plus it's in the dark, you see that they virtually all end in accidents. So that's the model with, that we're going to apply. I'm going to apply that model to a table that I've got in within SQL Server. Um, so this is it. This is it here. So same sort of information that's going to go in, but we just want to basically create two columns, which is what is the likely outcome of the um, of that journey and um, what is the probability of that outcome. So what we'll do, um, um, we'll jump into integration services. I'm going to, I'll just turn that off, stop debugging. Um, I'm going to assume that you have created um, you can create a, um, a new project, so you just go new project, um, it's going to be an integration services project and then you'll get be able to get to a window like this, you create a new integration services package. So what first thing we need to do is we need to connect to my SQL Server um, uh, table. So we drag uh, a data flow task on, double click on it and we'll drill through to it and then we create a, um, a data source, um, uh, a connection manager uh, to the data source. So we're just going to do this via an OLDB source to the SQL database, drag that on, double click on it, click new, new, um, server name, it'll just give the name of my, of my PC. I'll go to the database name, I won't bother testing it, that's fine, that's all good. Now we just identify the table, it's the accident profile table and the columns, okay so we don't need to bring across journey, journey number, all the rest of the information is good. Okay so that's our connection so what we need to do is then apply the uh, predictive model so just need to try and find it in amongst all of these uh, all of these uh, transformations so we want to pull in the data mining query transformation so we connect it up by dragging a line to it double click on the on the uh, transformation to open up and what we need to do now is connect to the uh, data mining model so we're going to create a new connection okay yep so it's a connection to the um, analysis services that's all good click okay the mining structure okay so that's the name of the predictive model that's all good so that tab is done now what we're going to do is create the query and this is basically defining what to include in the model so this is um, it's basically it's linking the um, 
fields within the predictive model to the fields in my database in which I want to apply the prediction to and then defining what information you want um, assigned to those predictions. So um, I'll talk about that when I get a little bit further down the line. So we click on build new query and what this does here is it tries to map the columns from the data mining model to my um, database and it's only actually matched to two columns which isn't very good so we'll have to manually force the connection um, distance in kilometers gets connected percent dark get connect, gets connected and we better not forget the harsh breaking events because we already know that the predictive model that's very important in the predictive model I think that is it we don't want to we can't drag accident across because that's the uh, that's the outcome we're trying to predict in the, uh, so now what we want to do is define the output column so we want to first of all classify whether there's going to be an, uh, likely to be an accident based on the profile information so that's a yes or no we'll just call this outcome of journey that's good and then what we want to do is apply a prediction function which is basically a percentage so in the field column we then say predict probability and we'll just call this probability and then we want to apply uh, predict the probability of an accident so we drag the accident column down and then that's it so we should be good to go if I haven't made any mistakes um, rather than outputting this into some, let's say, a, a flat file or, or Excel or back into a SQL table, I'm just going to view the output within integration services. You can do that by dragging a derived column transformation down, connecting to it with the uh, connecting the two transformations together, and then right-clicking the line and going and go enable data viewer. So this will basically just pop up the output of the data mining query as data flows through. So then we just run the uh, the package, and there we go. So this is the outcome of the uh, of applying the predictive model to the data within my SQL Server database. So basically what this say, for example, this first um, first journey says, it says, okay, it's a nine kilometer journey. Um, it's taken 10 minutes. Um, it's got some zero idling events, one harsh braking event, and 20% of it was in the dark, and there was 0.8 speeding events per kilometer. And the what it's saying is for that type of journey, most likely, It'll, uh, there's, sorry, there's an 85% probability that type of journey would not end in an accident. In contrast, this next one, this type of journey, 46 kilometers, lots of harsh braking events, that's obviously quite telling, and uh, with 15% in the dark, it's saying that the outcome of the journey is saying that that sort of journey is more likely to end up in an accident. So the outcome of the journey is, yes, an accident, and there's a 77% probability um, assigned to that uh, that outcome. So that is pretty much it um, using um, integration services to um, apply predictive models. Um, if you found this um, useful come across to my um, to my website I've got lots of information on um, on predictive models so if you haven't created a predictive model for it's probably worth having a look at some of these so for example this creating data mining structures and predictive models using the Excel add-in for SQL Server um, but there's lots of stuff here using lift charts to evaluate data mining models profit charts um, yeah, um, you name it, clustering models, um, all sorts of things, uh, lots and lots of information. The other option is to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and just hit the subscribe button and every time I produce another video, you'll get an update. Cheers, thanks uh, for watching the video and I uh, hope you'll, um, you'll come to the website and watch a few more.